and uh, I'm going to sit back and relax now because uh, this is the part where I'm going to get to learn something. I'm probably going to open up my LinkedIn profile and uh, start to do some stuff while Ed's talking because I'm sure he's going to talk to me about some stuff about my profile that's uh, uh, wrong. Well, not specifically mine, but I'm going to pick up the uh, the things that are wrong. But let me give you a bit of background about Ed. He's um. Uh, I, I don't believe he's real. Um, I've only seen him as pixels. Uh, he's, he's online prolifically. You know, you'll often see him uh, running uh, uh, meetup networking. I can see some people here today who are on um, uh, or in uh, Ed's uh, network as well too. So, um, uh, so just a, a bit of uh, background uh, about Ed. He works with or his specialty is working with entrepreneurs and leaders, really helping them to get more clients um or to get uh, you know sort of top positions if they're you know if they're looking for jobs um and to become leading personal brands in their uh, industry so he's really helped uh, clients generate millions of dollars uh, in revenue so he has worked with uh, the likes of uh, microsoft teachable meetup linkedin um you know business australia and the australian government we were talking about that before and how the australian government would never ever lie to you uh so he he, he can attest to that so he's worked uh, with them as well too um and uh, interestingly enough ed is one of uh, is has become an australian top google guide anyone know what a top google guide is anyone heard of that before they're those people have you ever seen those uh, ratings you know when people sort of, uh, you know or, or you're you're on um uh, google my business and it pops up and says uh you know was this place does this place open between sort of six and ten you think i don't know well ed's the sort of person who goes and finds out and he says yeah they are or no they're not um so uh, he's he's a big contributor to uh, to that so uh, there you go he's obviously he travels way too much and uh, he's got sort of uh, lots of time at airports to uh, be able to do it so uh, tonight um he's re he's here to talk to us about linkedin and it's a secret to getting 112,752 highly engaged LinkedIn followers who open your messages, read your posts, and become loyal, raving fan customers. I don't know whether that's what he's talking about, but I thought that was a pretty good topic. So I'm going to leave it open to Ed to uh, come and uh, tell us all about this thing called LinkedIn. So let's give him a hand. Oh, it's a pleasure. Welcome, everyone. Thank you, Nick. And um, I've got some good news for everyone, actually. I'm not even going to do a PowerPoint, but I'm going to hit share screen and show you basically what I do on a daily basis. I thought that would be the best way of me um, actually demoing to you exactly how I do. And basically here, um, if you have any questions, put them in. Um, I was going to ask you, if you just keep your microphones on mute as well, just for, um, while I'm presenting, they'll be good to keep the noise down. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you exactly what I do on a daily basis. Now, you're going to get some great ideas from me. You're going to see some stuff you don't like. So I'm actually not here to tell you what to do. I'm here to just tell you what I do. And I want you to take out of it whatever you like and leave behind whatever you don't like. Now, if you want as well, feel free to open up your LinkedIn profiles and do some work in real time or just take it all in. So firstly, um, long story short, um, I really don't like Facebook and Instagram. They kind of pissed me off many times. Uh, put up your hand if you've had enough of Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook and Instagram. I don't know about you, but I'm done. It was actually interesting. Um, the other day, I kind of threw the gauntlet down. I said, I'm just sick of spending so much time on Facebook and Instagram. Um, you know, they're okay, but they're merely the shell of a platform they used to be. And where this all started was, the reason why I'm bashing Facebook so much is this is how I actually got on LinkedIn. One of my wonderful friends, Rana, um, actually said to me a few years ago, Ed, you got to get on LinkedIn, you got to get off Facebook and get onto a real platform like LinkedIn. And originally, I used to be more of a business coach, actually. I originally jumped on LinkedIn just to get a few extra clients. And what happened was I actually made more money in three months of LinkedIn than I did in about 18 months of Facebook. It was a real life-changing experience for me. And, and I just... It was so good. I just naturally just fitted into LinkedIn. I fitted into LinkedIn so well, it actually changed me. Instead of I then over time became you know basically a LinkedIn influencer coach, helping a lot of wonderful people. The other interesting point I want to make to your winners as well, and it's something very important to keep in mind, is think about where your customers are. Okay. Now I'll tell you now the quality of people is wonderful on LinkedIn. You have such amazing people on there, and I'll tell you that basically the two ways I get intel. Right, this is the way I get information. I've been a Microsoft ambassador and friend for years and Microsoft bought LinkedIn about three or four years ago and I got introduced to LinkedIn internally so I got a lot of inside information that was amazing so I get I get inside information directly from Microsoft and LinkedIn 
also been highly trained by them. Plus as well, I do all my own stuff. So without further ado, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit share screen. I'm just gonna show you what's on my PC. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you what I've got going on, which is all very, very good. And also I can hear someone typing. So if you can just keep your microphones on, that'd be great. So someone's typing. Uh, if you can just make sure you're all muted. Um, if you're gonna speak, please speak, but just keep your microphones on mute just while I'm going through all stuff. So without further ado, I can I get a thumbs up if you see my PC screen all right? If you see my PC screen all right? Excellent, cool. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to go straight to LinkedIn. I'm actually going to show you what I've posted today. And while I'm here, I'm actually going to show you how quickly it's posted. Once I show you a few things, I'm actually going to do a happy birthday post for Karen Clark in real time. Because one bit, one pushback I get from people, and I just want to be clear on this one, is, Ed, I don't have much time to use LinkedIn. Okay, I'm going to show you how quickly LinkedIn can be to use. And I'm actually going to do a live demo in a moment. But first things first, I'm just going to go through my LinkedIn profile. And I'm just going to reel off a few core things I really encourage you to do. You can do them in real time. You can do them afterwards. It's totally up to you. And by the way, feel free to not listen to me. You might say, Ed, I hate LinkedIn. Ed, I don't agree with what you're saying. That's awesome. Now, I'm not saying that to be a smart ass. I genuinely mean that because LinkedIn's not for everyone here. Make, make no mistake. Not all of you, LinkedIn's not for everyone here. And some of you actually won't agree with what I'm saying, and that's fine. But for the ones that agree with what I'm saying, LinkedIn is here for you. So LinkedIn's not for everyone here, but if it is for you, make sure you listen up because you're going to absolutely love it. So first things first, the first thing you need to do on LinkedIn is get your profile beautiful, okay? And a few things I'm going to go through. Put in a great photo, okay? Just take a photo. Put in a great, colourful cover image. It's very good. Um, obviously put your name in. Now this is the bit where it gets very important on LinkedIn. This is almost a bon uh, beyond LinkedIn. You might want to have a good chat to Nick Cree about this one. But ultimately, LinkedIn and your marketing is only as good as what you put yourself out there to be. And this is ultimately where people really ultimately succeed and fail on LinkedIn because this is called the biotext. This is, this is basically what people will see you on as LinkedIn. This is basically how you identify yourself. So see in mine, I say I'm a master coach, I'm a LinkedIn aficionado, and I talk about a few other things. But what I encourage you all to do, not just Facebook, but your other platforms too, is got to be very clear as to who you are and what you do. And if you stuff this up, you're not going to get any customers, okay? So you've got to get this right because ultimately, this forms the master logic for all your content, that sort of thing. So two things I've got to say to you, if you know exactly what you're doing, make sure it's clearly expressed here. If you do not, have a chat to someone like Nick or whatever and really get your X factor and that crystallized, okay? So, and try and, and try and do this, that's a key thing. You wanna get this right. So for example, I'm very clear on what I do. I at the end of the day, I'm a, you know, a master influencer coach, I focus on LinkedIn and also run a business network too, which is, um, which is a great thing. Now that's very important, okay? So update your cover image, update your photo and update this bit. The next bit that's very important, I'm not gonna spend too much time, this is on and go into content, zoom out a bit, is, Spend a bit of time, update all your roles and descriptions, pretty obvious. LinkedIn, when people search for you, people search, just spend a bit of time updating your profile and all that, it's pretty cool. Um, you wanna have at least 10 LinkedIn recommendations uh, on your profile, which is very good. Why do you want at least 10 LinkedIn recommendations? Because the way it works, look what it knows, but within LinkedIn, if you have at least 10 LinkedIn recommendations, you actually, your profile gets shown to more people and your content gets more reach. So it's an internal Microsoft thing, you got to have at least 10 recommendations. So my advice to you is if you have 10 recommendations, good for you. If not, everyone start, if you know everyone, start recommending each other now, start giving each other recommendations now because you want to have at least 10 recommendations, which is very important. And look, this bit I'm not going to spend too much time on. It's pretty straightforward. The other bit that's moderately important is you're about us. It's just a bit about you. So just talk about you as a person. A few paragraphs is fine. But the main thing I want to iterate to you is your photos here are very important. Noticed Aldwyn, Karen in the middle, and good old Annie Burke as well. We love those powerful ladies. Can we wave to Aldwyn? Uh, wonderful Annie Burke as well. We love those ladies. Um, but if you want to get this right, you want to good graphics and that sort of thing, which is all really, really, really good. Okay. Have you got any questions or anything? Feel free just to type them in the text. I am reading the text. So if you've got any questions, just bash them in the text. And I'll, um, I, and if they're easy ones, I can uh, read them out. Oh, we love you. So any questions, put them in the text, uh, in the chat. I am reading. So that's the first thing I encourage you to do, update your LinkedIn profiles. In fact, before I move ahead, I'll just pause for the minute. Are there any questions or reactions before I dive into content? I just want to pause for the moment. Uh, if you've got any questions or anything, or you want to say anything now, is your time to say it. More just about profile and that sort of thing, and then I'll go into content. 
I can ask a question, please, Ed. Um, it's Jane here. Um, where do we, because I'm looking at my uh, LinkedIn profile, where do we find those recommendations? Oh, um, recommendations, are, okay, so with recommendations, people have to give them to you, okay? So someone has to sit there. So let's say that wonderful, handsome New Zealand fellow, that Troy uh, 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 Pawnee, did I pronounce your name correctly, that handsome New Zealander? Panui. Panui, there you go. Handsome New Zealand man, there you go. Um, let's say Troy thinks Jane is awesome. Troy will sit there and write, write a recommendation for Jane, and then that would appear on Jane's profile. And then Jane is so impressed, she then writes a recommendation for Troy. And so it's basically what other people write for you. So my advice to all of you here is start recommending each other now <laughs> and try and get past 10 recommendations. So that's my big advice to you. Thank you. And Rupi uh, D, hey Rupi D asked a great question. Any particular banner recommended? No, just something cool that showcases what you do. There's no straight answer to that. This, the reason why I use this photo is because I took this photo on Friday of our meetup and I love these people. So there's my simple answer. So look, at the end of the day, I'm not here to tell you what photos to use or anything like that, but use something that's yours, okay? Use something that is uniquely you, uniquely your brand and that sort of thing. Um, but my advice to you is something that's colorful, it has people or something cool like that, which is good. Um, yeah, show any other yeah. questions or thoughts? Yay, yeah. Peter. Very quickly, um, within the profile, within the about section of your LinkedIn profile, yeah, I was taught that you should be sharing your ideal potential client there rather than ourselves. Am I wrong? Um, so when people check your profile out, they say, "Wow, he's the sort of he's talking about me." That's the, the, yeah. This, I'm a learner. I'm a learner, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I suppose there's there's several schools of uh, camps on this one, right? Several corrections, several schools of thought. Um, I'm not saying they're wrong, but I don't agree with it because also, I'll explain to you the point of view I'm coming from, right? When pe people know who they are already, right? People already know who they are. When they're on your LinkedIn profile, Peter, they want to know all about you because ultimately the reason why someone's reading a LinkedIn profile, they basically want to know all about you to figure out two things. A, do I trust this person? And B, will this, does this person have the goods to solve my problem or you know whatever I'm trying to do? So the problem is, I do think some people, all they do is they talk about weird stuff, like they talk about how wonderful their customers are. And it's like, well, it's lovely, but what do you do, right? So I don't know, um, the way I've approached it that's worked really well for me and a lot of our clients is, I've sort of told as much, I've sold two things. I've explained a lot of information about me personally and also professionally, because the objective is to communicate, is basically, hey everyone, this is who I am, you're either gonna want me or not. So I'll give you this answer, Peter. Feel free to talk about your customers, but ultimately identify yourself so people can build trust for you. That would be my reaction to that one, Peter. Thanks very much, Ed. Pleasure, pleasure. By the way, there's no um, hard, this is not a science, um, you know, so take my ideas with a small or big grain of salt, make it work for you. Any other questions? Or th oh, I got a great question here. From Helen uh, Million. Uh, Helen, great having you with us. Edward, have you thought of using your name pronunciation um, as an intro about... Oh, could you just ask that question again, Helen, just so I understand? If you just ask that question differently. Sorry, I'll ask that out personally. Yeah, I was typing and then I went to school. Yeah, sorry, if you just so, really ask it. Really I, I know that you've used your live video, which is great, uh, and I do the same, but have you thought of using the pronunciation little icon there where you've pronounce your name actually not for your name but for a little bit more about yourself or maybe your services well that i'd be careful with that because um because basically whenever you that is that would i would say that would probably be against linkedin terms and conditions right okay yeah so, so what happens is whenever you don't follow the rules or spirit of linkedin you're opening yeah. yourself up to problems Okay, I've seen a lot of people doing it. Um, yeah. I just saw Sally Prosser doing it. She was one of the first people. And I've seen a few others that have been doing that too. So I thought, oh, interesting. Yeah, I, look, I'm not, I'm not saying that LinkedIn are going to, you know, send the a federal police over to <laughs> grab you or anything. But I don't know, generally speaking, when it comes, I'm pretty dark on doing that because when it, when it comes to LinkedIn, I like to do two things. I like to follow the rules and the spirit of LinkedIn. Because the problem is, if you do too many things like that, it can kind of get, it can get you in a LinkedIn jail, which is a problem. Okay, thanks very much for yeah. that. So just on that note, as a, as a point, 
there's a lot of temptation out there. So for example, I'll give you one of the, um, the examples of one of the LinkedIn terms conditions. Your profile pic is meant to just, just be you and no one else. That's very clear in the terms and conditions, right? Now, a lot of people put in photos of them and someone else. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to lose your account or anything, but the more things you sort of do that LinkedIn don't like is the more you're putting your account up there saying, hey, disable my account for a few days. So, yeah, just stick to my advice is just stick to the rules and spirit of LinkedIn. You'll be way better off. Cool. Um, Rip BD asks a great question um, saying, Ed, where do you put your resume? Oh, Rupi, the whole thing is basically your resume. So the idea Rupi, is that, you know, you put in your photo, your stuff about you, under your about us, you talk about, you know, you know, how you help people or whatever. And then you sort of put in your job details here. So you can add different parts of your job details, like where you work, what you did. And of course, as well, you put in the side of your job experience that makes it look good. So if you did a few things in your life that you're not too proud of, that you don't want people finding out, just don't put it on there, just Hillary Clinton and just pretend it never happened. That would be the best way to do it. So just think Hillary Clinton, how can you bury your sordid past so no one finds out about it? So again, put on, put on LinkedIn what A is authentically you, but B, but represents you in the best possible light. Hey, can I ask you one more? Of course you can, Peter. What have you got? What have you got? I Paul? don't want to dominate the space, but this is yeah, Don't worry, Peter, you're asking good questions and you're a very sexy man too. I've lost my word now. <laughs> Good. Good. What's, what's your feelings about the use of automation on LinkedIn? Mm -hmm. I, my understanding was it was against the terms and conditions. Yeah. Okay. Please don't. If you are using... Now, I've had two clients not listen to me and use automation software and they got their accounts disabled and they come squealing to me to fix it. So if you are using automation software, it's... LinkedIn's very dark on that. That's that's a that's sort of a red line issue. Like if you sort of abuse like the pronunciation feature, no one's going to care about that. But LinkedIn hates automation. So if you're using any form of automated software, please stop it right away because two reasons: a, it's not with the spirit of LinkedIn, but a lot of people are getting their accounts disabled or um, getting winding up in LinkedIn jail. So please don't do it. Um, it's really bad. And it's it, look, at the end of the day, um, I'm sure uh, Nick will say the same thing. If you're doing a lot of dodgy things, your business might be sustainable. You're not going to have a sustainable LinkedIn experience because I'm not here to teach you shonky things so you get heaps of followers. Far from it. I'm here that you have a good long-term LinkedIn profitable experience. So no automation software. LinkedIn's very dark on that and it's directly against their terms and conditions. So please don't do that. Thank you very much, Ed. I agree. Yeah. Now, a lot of people are recommending it and selling it, and we condemn that behaviour on every level. So don't do it. Because when you get your account disabled, everyone can, I tell people not to do it, then they get their accounts disabled and then come back squealing to me to fix it like it was my fault. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah. Any other questions or thoughts? Hey, Ed, how you going? It's Noel. Hey, good, Noel. What have you got for us? Oh, so... So I've never really, I've got a LinkedIn account, so I've never really used it and uh -huh. I need to. Um, so how much more difference is it like on Facebook where you can pay to boost your account so you get more traction on things? Um, and how do you find, find it with messaging backwards? and Look, it's funny, you know what? I have a LinkedIn account and I must, man, it must be 80% dentist. I don't know. There seems to be a lot of dentists in there. But anyway, it, uh, oh, man, they must have the best smile because, man, there's some dentists in LinkedIn. But anyway, yeah. so yeah. tell me the benefits and, um, and how much more can it really make? So, you, so can you just ask me a question again, please? What's your actual question, Noel? So, so you know how you can boost on okay, Facebook yeah. Messenger and things yeah, gotcha. like that to get traction. Yeah, gotcha. so, so can you so do with, a similar thing on LinkedIn or? No. So with LinkedIn, so yes and no. So with LinkedIn, there's two sides of LinkedIn. You have your personal page and someone mentioned here and Ron Beswick, great question. Um, I'll answer that question now. So there's two sides of LinkedIn. There's your personal page, which you're seeing here. And also you can create what's called your business page, right? 
Now on LinkedIn, you cannot boost on your personal page. You can only boost on your business page. So for example, here's my personal page here, got you know, 110,000 followers and all that. If I go to my business page, I hate Zoom, I won't let me do that. If I go to my business page, which is going really well actually, it's kicking my, so on my business page, I've got, I want to let up. I have over, oh, where are we? 230,000 followers, which I'm really happy about. So wow. You, which is good. You can boost posts on your business page, but not your personal page. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Um, look, my advice to everyone listening is don't start playing with boosting yet. Just build your organic content. So just, I would just, for a lot of you listening, I would just focus on your um, personal page and just build your uh, profile there. You, you'll be way better off until you screw around with paid advertising over here. And, and it has... And it hasn't got a cap on how many people you can have, like Facebook. Like, nope. Nope. You, can have, you can have millions of followers. It's fine. Wow. Because when you said you had so many, that's amazing, eh? It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Glad I've answered your question. But my advice to everyone is um, look, I'm not a, I don't do any paid advertising on LinkedIn, to be honest with you. So I'm not the right guy to ask. Maybe bounce back to Nick. But my advice to you is I'm fully organic, so I don't do any paid ads. All my views, I get seen at least 20, 30,000 times a day on LinkedIn. I'm not spending any money on advertising. It's all organic. And it's just good. Wow. Come in. So, Ed, sorry, can I interrupt? Um, oh, hey, just, Ruby. <laughs> here you go. Yeah. Just, just with regards to um, the resume question that I asked, Yep. If you've got a professional resume, is there somewhere that you can upload it to there? Oh, sure. Not? Yeah, so much. I mean, um, what you can do is you can post it as a PDF and you could even put it in your featured section. So, absolutely. So, let's say you've got a PDF resume, you hit the plus key, you can put it in your featured section or you can upload it as a content post. Cool. Okay, thanks. Thank yeah, you. I know what you mean now. Yeah, absolutely, Ruby, not a problem. Oh, Alwyn, I love you, Alwyn. Alwyn's an amazing. Like, can we give a love heart to Alwyn just because I like her? She's really cool. We love Alwyn. Alwyn's an amazing lady. Love you, Alwyn. Keep it up. I just want to make an observation. Oh, hey, Jeff. Where most of us are wanting to connect on LinkedIn, which is okay. And we're asking for recommendations. I don't think it's a good idea for all of us to put recommendations on at the same time. Spread it out over the next few weeks. Sure, sure. I think that'll look a bit funny if you know they get ten recommendations in one night or something. Oh, if you want, I don't think anyone will notice. But go, that's cool. <laughs> no, I don't think anyone will notice. But that's whatever you're comfortable with. Yeah, that's cool. No one will notice. But my point being, you want to get to ten recommendations as quickly as possible because your views will go up. That's what I'm trying to do. So there you go. Authentic recommendations, of course. Let me make that point clear. Authentic recommendations. Anyone else? Got any questions before I talk about content? Thoughts regarding comparison? Oh, that's a good question. Peter Beckenham, you are a smart, not only handsome, you're a very smart guy. Now, there's two interesting effects going on here. If you asked me this question six months ago, I would have said to you, Peter, Facebook groups are so much better than LinkedIn groups. However, the problem with Facebook is there's less and less people using it. And this is the problem, and Nick said that at the start, and Nick is spot on. Spot on. This isn't my opinion, this is a fact. Every day, Facebook is losing more customers. And what's interesting is that, based, and I'll, I'll answer it from this point of view, a lot of people are leaving Facebook for basically three big reasons. Facebook makes incompetent business decisions, and then it makes more incompetent business decisions trying to fix its previous incompetent business decision, right? And I don't need to persuade you on that. But the bit that's more interesting is that basically you've got two problems that Facebook has got. The business, the business entrepreneur uh, professional community, a lot of them have already gone to LinkedIn. And they're losing a lot of entertainment customers via TikTok. So TikTok's murdering Facebook on the entertainment end and the business end is long gone to Facebook. So the problem is, to uh, so LinkedIn, so the problem you've got is that there's less people on Facebook to participate in the groups. A lot of you will notice that your views in your Facebook groups have dropped. Anyone seen that? Your views have crashed. Well, there's a reason for that. There's less people on Facebook to see your stuff and Facebook just wants you to do paid advertising. Facebook does not want you getting organic views. They want you to pay for advertising. So yeah, so in other words, yeah, and probably uh, unless my advice is, unless you've already got a big Facebook group of like, you know, five or 10,000 people, 
I wouldn't worry about it too much. You might even use Telegram or something like that to create more of a group. So someone actually asked me today, Ed, I want to create a brand new group for my customers. I actually, we actually use Telegram. It's great. I actually suggested Telegram instead of Facebook or LinkedIn. It's good. Yeah, exactly. And great one. Um, yeah, LinkedIn's really, LinkedIn and TikTok are really sticking it to Mark Zuckerberg now. And believe me, nothing makes me happier, Ruby. So there you go. Seeing Facebook crash and burn and TikTok and uh, LinkedIn take over, it makes me very happy. It makes me feel good. So there you go. Ooh. Man, I'm a prick. Um, any other questions before I go on to content and humiliate and incriminate myself further? Yeah, I've got one, uh, Ed. Uh, and that's oh, hey, just about uh, hashtags. I know the hashtags uh, yep. in your uh, profile there, uh, which sort of seems a bit like a, a uh, Instagram thing, but obviously it's not. Yeah, so so um, so several points on hashtags. Um, on LinkedIn, you have what's called creator mode, which I've enabled. Make sure you enable it. So um, feel free to enable creator mode. It'll help you get more followers. And when you enable creator mode, um, what you can do is um, you can put in up to five different hashtags. And basically, this will tell the algorithm of where to throw your content. So when you enable creator mode, it'll ask you for up to five hashtags. These are the hashtags that will ultimately define where your content goes, okay? So hit creator mode, put in the top five hashtags. And when you post, you wanna stick to that narrative. So for example, I've got five different hashtags, meetup, which is the business networking community I run, LinkedIn, eh? Uh, and I have also just personal hashtags for wonderful wife Lassie and me, and also Teachable, which is like um, a online course billing platform I have on, which is good. Well, thank you, Jane. You're an amazing lady, Jane. Um, I got to say, Jane, your husband's a lucky man. That's all I can say. You're an amazing lady, Jane, and just you remember that. We love you, Jane. Um, oh yeah, emojis, great question. Oh yeah, and please use a lot of emojis. Emojis bring out a lot of color. Best way of doing emojis is you just go to Google, and I'll just type in, um, oh, let's type in wine emoji because I know Karen Clark likes wine. And what I'll do is, <laughs> we love Karen Clark and Karen Clark likes her wine um, and a gin. I like more whiskey, but what it is, it'll bring up what's called Emojipedia. Emojipedia is really good. So I highly recommend Emojipedia. Uh, you can use that. It has, um, you can go in there, search for emojis. You just hit the copy key, then it copies it to your PC memory, which is all really, really good. So yes. Answer your question. Any other questions, you winning friends? Uh, Janine, we love your work, Janine Fraser. You're just awesome. And we love Jane. Jane's a legend and we love Karen Clark. And of course as well, we love Peter Beckenham. We love you, Peter. Any other questions or thoughts before I go to content? All right, let's go to content. And I'm gonna show you how quickly this post. Now I'm gonna show you the posts I've done today. And you might sit there and say, Ed, these are the worst posts ever and my posts are a billion times better. Good for you, go Don. Or you might sit there and say, Ed, I kind of like your posts. I'm gonna learn something from it. So I'm just gonna show you what I did today because I'll just show you the way I use LinkedIn. And it obviously works because otherwise if it didn't work, I wouldn't be talking to you now, I'd be dead. So I'll just show you a few things that I've done, right? And I'll just give you a bit of commentary. If you've got any questions or thoughts, just ask me or just type it into the uh, Zoom chat box. So let's check it out, my beautiful friends. So um, just before I jumped on, um, just so you know, I did a live webinar last night and I just put the recording up on LinkedIn, okay? And that's one of the beautiful things I love doing. Video does really well on LinkedIn. So for example, I do like a live webinar every Monday night and I always share the recording to it on LinkedIn. Now, a lot of you are gonna ask saying, but Ed, LinkedIn's only got a 15 minute limit. What if the recording goes for more than that? What you can do is you can do like a 15 minute clip of your webinars or whatever. And you can just put a link in the text saying, um, watch 15 minute here on LinkedIn and view the rest here. So for sharing webinars, it's really good. So basically for sharing high value content, LinkedIn is absolutely amazing. So I did that today, which is really good. Just a webinar recording, nothing. It, it, it'll be much like Nick doing the same thing. Nick just getting his webinar recording and sharing, which is all really good. What I also do is I share a lot of other people's posts. I highly recommend you like, share and comment other people's posts. It works really well. You can see a lot of stuff that I shared here today, but I won't focus on that. I'll just talk about my own stuff because I don't want to speak for other people. I just want to speak for me. It's not fair for me to speak for other people. And I'll show you another post I did earlier today. I did a very, very simple post just sharing my website. I do this usually once a day. I just share my website because I want to bring traffic to my website. So every day I'll do a post just saying, hey, check out my website. If there's anything I'd like you to see, so my website's www.edwardsy.com. If you open it, it takes you to all these cool links. 
like my meter, my influencer workshop, my programs and that sort of thing. So usually once a day I'll just share my website on LinkedIn, okay? Helps me bring leads because ultimately if someone's following me and they already like Edward Zier and they check out my website, they might buy something, which is really, really cool. Like oh, they might sign up to my program, my workshop, whatever you're doing. So I highly recommend that you share your website as well, which really well. And do it in a non-spammy way so you don't piss LinkedIn off, which is really good. Uh, let's see other stuff. Um, I'm going to show you another post I've done today. Got any questions, just shout them out. Big day. Everyone's been posting big time. So I've been sharing a lot today. I've been sharing other people's posts more than posting myself. What a big day. Oh, here's an interesting one. Here's an interesting point I want to make. Um, yeah, Jeff Summers asked a great question. Ed, can you upload a YouTube video? Okay, so on that one, you can share YouTube links onto LinkedIn, but you're not going to get as many views if you upload the video directly. Okay, that's the thing. So by all means, share a YouTube link on a LinkedIn, but you're not going to get as many views then if you upload the MP4 directly to LinkedIn. So great question, Jeff Sons. I want to give you an interesting example. Now, this is one of my wonderful friends, Marlon, one of my wonderful friends and long-term clients. We caught up today. You can still see I'm still wearing the same shirt. And we took this funny photo of us at Baskins and Robbins. And you might think, well, wow, that's just not very professional. How dare you insult LinkedIn by doing that? And if you still say that, my response to you is, yes, but it's enticing. And the beauty of this photo is, is that a lot of my posts are actually just giving shouts to other people. I'm one of the most laziest people there is on LinkedIn. A lot of my posts are just literally giving shouts to people. I just literally take photos with people, put them up and just tell everyone how wonderful my um these my friends are and that's one of the reasons why i'm so big on linkedin one of the reasons why i'm so big on linkedin is my content actually if notice my content's not about me this is a big learning lesson here i want to make to you winners not much of my con i might be in my content but very little of it is about me you'll never ever see me telling you how wonderful i am it's not going to happen if i do it, it'll be in satire i would never do it seriously a lot of my content is either me giving value giving tips or saying that someone else is wonderful. Okay, keep that in mind, right? Keep that in mind. And the other thing I want to say to you winners as well is this photo I did straight from my mobile phone. This is one of the points I want to make. Don't spend hours in front of your PC, just post very quickly. It's a great photo, took it on my mobile phone, posted it, tagged in Marlin, probably already got at least a thousand views, which is great. Sort of straight bit of other stuff that I've done. Gave another shout to one of our other clients today. Um, what is it? Give me a second. I'll show you some other stuff. Oh, come on, LinkedIn. Where are we? International Women's Day. Happy International Women's Day. So there you go. Are uh, polls do really well on LinkedIn. Polls get you a lot of views. So if you want to get a lot of views and attract a lot of followers, do really good polls based on your subject matter, which is really good. So yeah, these are some of the things you can do. Um, the other thing that you can do really well too is also you can share webinars. I often share webinars, events, but basically I'm sharing all sorts of things to get people to follow me, which is really cool. Now, the other thing that I do is, is that as people like share and comment on my content, what I then do, my beautiful friends, is I reach out to them. If I know someone through LinkedIn, I reach out to people. A lot of people reach out to me. So it works really well. Now, a few questions there, keep your questions coming. The wonderful Will Brown says, I always put external links as the first comment. The LinkedIn algorithm ignores links, but if you add a link to the main post, the algorithm seems to share less. So you found the same. The answer is not really. Now, I've heard that for a long time. A lot of people have said to me, um, Ed, how dare you share links in the main post? You're a terrible person, Ed, and I hate you. But interestingly, my views haven't gone down that much. And I'm, look, by the way, um, actually, it's a good point, uh, Will. I'm all for putting, I actually do put links in the first comments, right? So it depends on the post. So most of my posts don't have links in it, but I do put links in the comments. But if my post is like, come to a webinar, like for example, this one of me giving Loretta Romeo a shout out, there's no link in there because it's me talking about Loretta. But if you go to the comments, you can see, oh, 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 it's in there somewhere. I left a link to my website. But if I'm doing like promoting an event or something, I will put the link in there. So it really depends um, on that. Um, yes, you, yeah, love your work, Will. It's a pleasure, hope it answers your question, but test both and see what numbers you get. Um, Ruth BD says, can you share TikTok to it as well? You can, it depends what you mean. So if you're sharing a link to a TikTok video, that's a bad thing. But one of our wonderful community members, Ali Huang, who uh, Karen that note, um, this works really well, by the way. She'll do her TikTok videos and she'll say that she'll upload the TikTok videos directly to LinkedIn, does really well. So 
Uploading a, a TikTok video to LinkedIn does really well on LinkedIn. So there you go, um, which is all very, very, very good. Um, Jane says, there are certain amount of posts you can do without seeing the algorithm. Um, I post heaps and I have no trouble. One thing I will say though, is never post within an hour of each other. Okay, I said to one of my clients, make sure you post three times a day. And then they do three posts within five minutes of each other. And it's like, oh, God damn it. Um, because what happens is you, if you do a post and you don't give enough time, the next post will squash the previous post. And um, you can kind of blame me because um, my obviously my expla uh, explanation was completely lame and poor. So whilst I sort of uh, face palmed, it was probably my fault for not explaining it well enough. Um, do, 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 do. Serene Toma asked, Edward, what if you have great articles but not getting much traction? Very few views. Okay, um, articles don't do that well on LinkedIn, and that's a problem. This pisses me off, by the way. So articles don't get that many views on LinkedIn. So if you're not getting many, I don't write many articles on LinkedIn, so I don't get many views, but at the end of the day, articles don't get that many views on LinkedIn. Am I saying don't do articles? No, but articles don't get that many views. So I, I just don't do many articles. My last article was December, which is like three months ago, which is pretty, it's actually Christmas day. I just feel like writing an article. That's pretty pathetic, of course, that my last uh, article was three months ago, but I don't get many views on it, so I just don't care. So there you go, I don't really care too much about articles, which is a pity, I think. I think it's a bit of an oversight of LinkedIn. I think link, the LinkedIn algorithm should give articles more views. Okay, I really do. So. Much as I love Microsoft and I think Bill Gates is wonderful, I disagree on that point, which is good. Um, Helen Million says, do you upload podcasts? Yes, um, uploading a live webinar is like uploading a podcast. So yes, I do. I love uploading podcasts to LinkedIn. That's good. Now, I want to give a quick demo of how quickly you can post. So, and I want you all to time me, okay? Because a lot of people say to me, but Ed, it takes too long to post and... I don't want to be changing my PC and I'm here to tell you it doesn't take long to post. And I'm also here to tell you, you can do it all from your phone. So what I want you to do is, uh, this is probably going to backfire on me badly, but right here is my phone, right? I'm going to open up LinkedIn. I haven't done the post earlier, so I'm literally just going to hit the post key as you can see here. I'm going to give Karen a birthday shout out and I want you to start timing right now and tell me how long that it takes. So start timing, tell me how long it takes. I'm going to give you, I'm going to show you how quickly one can post. Stand by. Okay, it's uploading now. So you can see my, I've got decent internet where I am in Lane Cove, so it works out well. So I mean, I live down in a city, Sydney. So I'm one of those guys who lives in a city, Sydney. It's just loading up now. So I suppose you've got to time this because yeah, you've got to time up. In, quite, in fact, on a phone, it actually sometimes takes longer to upload the actual post than it did for me to actually write the post. So um, I might look a bit silly. Okay, here we go. Excellent. Now I'm just doing a few quick things to demo. I'm trying to demonstrate how quickly one can post. That's what I'm trying to do. So bear with me. Don't go anywhere. All right. All right, everyone. How long did that take everyone? Can someone tell me how long I took to post? Let's have a look at my post. There it is. I just did that post from my phone. Took me minutes. Right, tell me how long it took. I even left a link to my website in there. I shared it onto my business page. I even put it in our Telegram group. That's how quick it is. That's how quickly you can do it. Now, I had that photo, of course, from Friday when I caught up with Karen. And by the way, happy birthday again, Karen. But yeah, okay, a minute and a half. Let's say it took me five minutes, okay? That's how long it takes you. Because I have a lot of people push back on me and it pisses me off saying, oh, Ed, it takes too long to post on LinkedIn. And Ed, you're a loser. And I'm sick of those people. 
because they're wrong and they're stupid. It does not take long to post a LinkedIn. Yeah, I got it. When you start out, it'll take a while, but when you get into it, it won't be a problem. Okay, so that's my point. You can post so damn quickly. And I, and I want you to get used to, I, want, I want you to absorb that because the quicker you post as an influencer, the more you're going to take off and win people. So I'm not here to chain you to PCs, far from it. I'm here to liberate you and you can do it all straight from the comfort of your mobile phone, which is all very, very good. So thank you, Nick Creases, a minute and a half. And Rupee D asks a great question. Does a short post or long post, which does best? To be honest, both. I personally steer more to short posts. However, a lot of our community members and clients do really good long posts that do well. So personally, I'm in the short post club. Um, but if you want to do a long post, that's fine. But what I do say to people is sometimes people do really long posts that miss the point. Um, yeah, so the premium icon on my profile is I'm using uh, LinkedIn Premium. It's good that you upgrade a LinkedIn Premium and you get a little premium badge. Plus, it gives your account additional protection too, which is highly recommended. So, yeah, friends, um, this is, look, I can go into a lot more detail. What are your questions and thoughts? Um, let me know what you think. Is there anything you want me to cover? Great. If you're done listening to Ed, that's awesome too. But if any questions or thoughts or anything you want to explore, now's the time to ask. And happy birthday to Karen again. We love Karen Clark. Questions, thoughts, anyone? Oh yeah, Troy just said, when's the next meetup? Um, if, I hope Nick doesn't mind, I'll just quickly share my meetup group. If you wanna to come to any of my meetups or events, um, just join the meetup group right there. And Soren asked a great question. What's the secret? How'd you get so many followers? I just told you, Soren, everything I said, I just told you all my secrets. I just post stuff, support other people. That's all I've done. So I actually told you the secrets, Soren. Told you all the secrets. Good. Oh, well, pleasure. Karen Clark says, um, Ed, help me um, get to over 30. Yeah, 3,200 followers are really, really good, which is good. Um, yeah, I don't know, Nick, on that one. Um, I have SlideShare connected to LinkedIn. Yeah, that's like, okay. Not really. I don't really connect anything to LinkedIn. I just use LinkedIn natively. So. I don't know on that one, which is good. Um, do people blog on the, yeah, people blog on the, the articles of the blog section. So um, yeah, if you're more of a blogger, um, so the article and the blog's the same thing. So yes, they do. You can see some there. Um, Jeff Summer says, it's premium, same as sales navigator. Premium, look, to be honest with you, sales navigator is a more advanced platform that costs more money. Um, sales navigator is more for full times full-time business development managers. For most of you listening, premium is the best product, which is good. Soren, it's a pleasure. Um, all of it, I love your work too, or when you are an amazing lady, who knows that it went big. So um, yes. Um, now, I have, to be honest, the LinkedIn has a newsletter function. I don't know how it works. I think it's kind of stupid. Um, I just never got into it. Um, I don't know, I haven't played with the, the LinkedIn newsletter function. It just gave me a headache, so I decided to let go of it. <laughs> I suppose the thing is, is that um, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't know everything about LinkedIn. I know what I'm doing, I don't know what's winning, but I know everything about LinkedIn. But I don't know. I'm not persuaded on that newsletter function. I think it, I, I wouldn't surprise me if it went the way of LinkedIn stories. LinkedIn put in stories and three months later, they got rid of it, which is, there you go. So uh, I don't know. Um, anyone who stops doing those things. I like you, Jane. Oh, by the way, everyone, if you want to add me on LinkedIn, please do so. Um, yeah, I'd love to connect with you, winners. If we're not connected, please just send me a friend request now. Um, I just love to connect. This is my LinkedIn profile. Please add me now. Um, please, I'd love to get you really beautiful people you are. I really appreciate you all. Um, yeah, Ruby says, what's the conversion on, to sales on LinkedIn high enough platforms? Absolutely, it's way high. For business to business type of work, Ruby, you can't beat LinkedIn. So when you, it all depends what you're selling. But if you're talking business to business or professional, oh, Ruby, yeah, LinkedIn's number one. There's no one's gonna doubt that. Uh, Ron Pierce says, when should one join a premium? If you're gonna use LinkedIn seriously, uh, my advice is sign up to premium tonight. Uh, there's a lot of reasons for that, but just sign up to premium. No, I'm not going to need commission for that, although I would. Um, yeah, LinkedIn events is really good. So um, again, I'm not here to talk about events, but um, for our events, we use a mixture of Meetup, which is good, but I'm not here to talk about Meetup as much as I love Meetup. But LinkedIn events is really good. So you can use LinkedIn events to list your face-to-face -face Meetups. Um, it's way better than Facebook events. It's basically within LinkedIn, they've added their own event managers platform. So it's really good. So I highly recommend LinkedIn events. Best thing you do is just list your events and invite everyone to it. So really good. So we list our events here on LinkedIn as well as of course using Meetup. But again, I'm not here to talk about Meetup. I'm very aware of that. So definitely get on LinkedIn events. It is really, really good. Cool. Oh, and Karen has shared her 
webinar. What's this? What did Karen share? Oh my God. This actually, there you go. Here's a LinkedIn event. Everyone click her, click um, Karen Clark's event and book into it. And you'll see a LinkedIn event in action. So make sure you're booking a Karen Clark's event now. Don't we? Oh, that's, that's in um, Howard Street Wharf, uh, Howard Stern Wharf in Brisbane. I know exactly. Is that near the power box at, under the Brisbane, under the um, Story Bridge in Brisbane? I think I know where that is. That's the power box, isn't it? Is that right, Karen Clark, or am I just completely an idiot who has no idea what he's talking about? It's actually just across the road in Side Street from 900 N Street. So I got it wrong. Damn it. You got Damn it wrong. It. Sorry. <laughs> I'm wrong. Wrong. Gosh, that's good. I love your camera book and that. Um, cool. Any questions or thoughts you... Oh, there. actually, here's a good example. I didn't even think of this, but that's why Karen's better looking than me. So, for example, <laughs> what also works well on LinkedIn is photo galleries do really well. So see how Karen's uploaded several photos at once it works well. Now, one of the big things you got to do on LinkedIn is support other people. Share your friend's content. I'm sharing Karen's post right now on my personal page, my business page. I'm even going to hit the like here and say, Karen, happy birthday. So remember, don't just share stuff on LinkedIn and hope that people buy your stuff. Support other people as well, which is all very good. So, yeah, my friends, any other questions? Anything you want to know? You could have anything you want to know, you want to ask me, now's the time to do it. Um, yeah, good. Yes, you want to know. Glad you're happy, Rupi. If you're happy, and again, as I said to everyone, LinkedIn is, and I just want to be straight with you here. One thing Eric Edwards here guarantees you is the truth. LinkedIn's not for everyone here, okay? So just so you know, LinkedIn, there are some of you saying LinkedIn's not for me and I hate LinkedIn. It's okay, don't use it. It's not for you. LinkedIn's only for certain people, but if LinkedIn is for you, you're going to love it, I guarantee it, which is good. Yeah, oh, we love Karen. We love all winner. Make sure you connect with each other as well. Make sure you make the most of it. So cool. Um, all right, should we hand back to Nick then? If you guys are all done. I think Link, now, I know Nick's being satirical, but in all honesty, let's explore his question. Is LinkedIn for Nick? Well, I'd say so because Nick's like a, you know, a coach, like a, a businessy marketing sort of coach. So yeah, I'd say so because Nick sells a real business to business service. So if you're in business to business or you're doing professional stuff, oh, LinkedIn's definitely for you. Okay, now LinkedIn's not for everyone, but if you're doing professional stuff or business to business, you're nuts not to use LinkedIn, absolutely crazy. Especially with the client of Facebook and uh, Insta, long overdue on my book, um, yeah, you, you, you're nuts to do it. Now it's not for everyone, if it's not for you, that's awesome. Or you just hate LinkedIn, that's cool, don't use it. It's fine. Oh yeah, um, so an interesting point, uh, Jeff Summers made a good point. If you go to my profile, you'll notice there's only a follow button. What you can do is if you go um, into the options, if you go to my profile and go to the options section, you can click on that and hit the connect button. And there's a reason for that. Um, so when you activate uh, uh, creator mode, what it does is LinkedIn, LinkedIn takes away your connect button and replaces it with a follow button but it buries your connect button in the options. So yeah, just go in there and uh, connect with me, it's good. Um, yeah, Rupi, no sweat, yeah, Rupi. No, 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 without knowing anything about you, Rupi, other than you're a nice lady. Um, yeah, if you're doing like business to business or professional stuff, um, yeah, I think you'll really, really enjoy it. So I'll go for it. No, it's a pleasure. Again, it's not for everyone. So, you know, if you, if you don't like me or don't like LinkedIn, that's fine. Don't use it, don't listen to me. But if it is for you, you're gonna love it and say that. It's good. Love your work, Karen. You're just brilliant. Oh, yeah, yeah, my ticket stuff. It's great. Ruby, you'll be fun. No sweat, Janine Fraser. We love you, Janine Fraser. It's good. Troy, it's really good. And I know you're all New Zealanders. You know who the best New Zealand actor is? Best actor. Who's the best New Zealand actor? Don't tell Karen. You know who I love? Fred Dagg. <laughs> Fred Dagg. No, who's the best New Zealand actor? Tetmura Morrison. The man's a genius. The guy's a legend. Tetmura Morrison. Timeless, brilliant New Zealand actor. Tetmura Morrison, best New Zealand actor. Put up your hand if you agree. Tetmura Morrison's the best New Zealand actor. He's pretty there good. Yeah. He's pretty good. Yeah, from Once for Warriors to Disney films, that guy's an absolute genius. So there you go. That's all I can say. Man's a genius. Yeah, Boba Fett, there you go. There you go, Troy. Boba Fett, you know that. He's just a um, brilliant actor. I think, I think uh, Tetmura Morrison's a very underrated, timeless actor. Very timeless character. Does, 
He does everything brilliant. Anyway, uh, we're here to talk about LinkedIn, not uh, my love for Techmura Morrison. But anyway, um, anything else? I'm maybe back to you, Nick. I'm just crapping on now about how much I love Techmura Morrison. All right. Well, he'll probably appreciate it. He's probably watching on the um, on the live feed at the moment as oh well. Oh my God. It, I so wish that. I know you're lying, but I so wish that was true. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Well, uh, uh, wealth of information. In fact, uh, I always have a notepad down beside me, even though I'm a digital guy. Always got a notepad down there, and uh, I've already got some stuff there to uh, really get going with it. I love the fact uh, that uh, we need to get 10 recommendations. And while we're, we're here, uh, Lorena, who's one of my team, is here. She said, we've only got four. So uh, that's our task tomorrow, to get 10. So anyone that would like to leave me a recommendation, feel free to, uh, to go and do that because uh, that'll make uh, Lorena's job a whole lot uh, easier as well too. Um, and I think while we're here too, if uh, you like what uh, Ed did, uh, give him a recommendation as well too, I think would be great. Um, what were a couple of other things? Polls, yeah, I'm, I'm into polls, so uh, I've, I've got a few uh, ideas to uh, run there. And articles, I was really curious about the fact that articles don't get enough views. I'm a long poster, so uh, maybe this will uh, free up a bit of uh, time and I can do lots of short posts uh, rather than the long ones, which is what I tend to do on uh, Facebook. Yeah. Just on that one, if I can jump in, I've, this has been my own personal experience, but I found short posts get more views and short posts are quicker to do. So the problem is long posts take more time. Yes, they do. They take me about an hour to do a long it's post. Bad. That's really bad because the last thing I want you to do is I'm not here to chain anyone to their PC. So that's why I'm very dark on long posts. I've built my business and winning on short posts, which is so fast and easy to do. That's why I'm very dark on long posts. I don't want you spending an hour to do a post. The last thing I want you guys doing. Excellent. All right. Do we need images on all the posts with just come in? Yeah, it's funny. I've gotten, um, with the exception of polls, I've done very poorly on text only posts. And I, I found text only posts don't get much mileage. Images or with videos will get you more mileage. Excellent. All right. Well, look, thanks very much for uh, coming to uh, chat with us tonight. Um, uh, Ed, if you, if you liked it, just go and put a thumbs up on your. Uh, on your profile, we're not sure where to put the thumbs up. Down the bottom is a uh, reactions icon on your toolbar down the bottom, and uh, you can give a thumbs up. Now, I've just had a reminder that um, we have a door prize for tonight as well, too. And this is for all of you special people out there that uh, would love to get more LinkedIn followers. And one really good way to uh, do that is to get some free publicity out there. And we've got someone here who is the master uh, of getting uh, free publicity. Uh, so no paid ads, it's all organic. And tonight is really an organic night as well too. Uh, so we have old one uh, who has uh, a masterclass coming up on how to get free publicity. So old one, do you want to tell us about that? Well, thank you, Nick. Love that tonight. Thank you so much, Ed. We love you. <laughs> Lots of love going around here. We have a free publicity secrets masterclass coming up on Saturday. So for anyone who wants to know how to get free publicity, how to be seen and heard amongst the noise and get yourself out there and be featured in the media for the right reasons. It's this Saturday from nine till one Queensland time. It's online and it's worth $197. And we have a ticket to give away to that. And I can also do one to the social media masterclass I've got coming up as well on April 9, if you like, Nick, you can do two prizes, both awesome. worth 197. Two tickets, I've done those, fantastic. And uh, it's just absolute gold, uh, that publicity there. And uh, that'll help to uh, uh, get people through to your LinkedIn profile as well. So we uh, have a special way of drawing it as always. All of your names are in the, uh, the wheel and uh, we'll just click the wheel and uh, see who the win winner is. So drum roll, please. And remember, you have to be here to win. So. Gary. Gary, congratulations. Is Gary still in the room? I, see Gary. I am. I am. You are fantastic. Excellent. All right, Gary, well, you have won a ticket to, uh, in fact, you can probably choose which one you go to. How does that sound, uh, Old One? Yeah, sure. Yep. All right. So uh, we'll connect you up to uh, to Old One there. We'll shoot, shoot an email both ways tomorrow, or you can uh, just drop your email address into uh, old, to Old One in chat, just a private message in chat there, and uh, she can organise that for you. So congratulations, Gary. And we have one more to draw. Congratulations. And 
drum roll, please. And our next lucky roll. winner is Peter Beckham. Yeah, yeah, congratulations. All right, is Peter still here? He, he may. Oh, no, he's there. I can see that. Sometimes uh, the weather gets him and he drops out, but no, he's still here. So fantastic. Excellent. Well, you're the uh, second winner of the night, uh, Peter. So uh, again, drop your uh, details into uh, Old One, or we'll, we'll connect you uh, tomorrow. Um, Lorena and uh, Jane will connect you uh, by email tomorrow. All right. Well, that there is a wrap tonight for Business Owners Smashing Online. Thanks, for everyone, for coming on. An extra special thanks to uh, Ed for uh, spending his uh, evening with us. I know he's got kids and a wife and all that uh, sort of uh, home stuff as well. So he spent it with us. So lots of love there. Uh, and also happy birthday, uh, Karen, as well, too. <laughs> uh, and uh, we'll be back here again uh, next week, same time. Now, I do have a call out. So uh, if you know of uh, someone you think would be an ideal uh, speaker along here, uh, then let me know, uh, because um, uh, I'm always looking for people that are, you know, of uh, Ed's talent and caliber to uh, come and uh, speak and share some of their wisdom and knowledge. They need to be someone who is in the business arena and someone who's got some skill or talent in the online area as well. So if you do know someone like that, just shoot me an email, drop me a message or whatever, and uh, love and uh, introduction as well. But for now, everyone go out and have a fantastic night and uh, look forward to seeing you online. Look forward to seeing your LinkedIn profiles uh, developing and uh, look forward to seeing you uh, back here again next week. Have a good night. Thank Thanks. you. Good night. Thanks so much. See you. Bye. Thank, Thank you. Bye. Good night. Thank you.